Welcome back to Crafty Q. So I want to show you the favorite bags um, that we're going to actually use to give out for Thanksgiving since we are hosting Thanksgiving this year. So I call these favorite bags. Um, they're pretty much um, the same way that you actually make chip bags. But instead of putting chips in here, we're actually going to put popcorn. Hence the um, saying right here as we gobbled till we wobbled and we ate till we pop. Thanksgiving 2019. And then on the back of the chip bag um, we have family is everything so I'm going to show you how I um, assemble this so stay tuned and uh, let's get started so here I have my printout I actually made this in uh, cameo silhouette software but you can pretty much um, purchase templates online for your chip bags um, you can actually Design yourself. Again, I use Cameo Silhouette, but you can do it in Photoshop or PicMonkey, Canva, I believe it is, um, and um, even Microsoft Word and um, what is it? PowerPoint. But for me, it was just easier to do this. Um, also, you need our scissors. You need uh, your tape gun. I have this one, but they also have like the tape runners. And then you need for the bags I'm creating, I want to put again popcorn in them, not actually popcorn bags, but I actually want to fill them with popcorn. So I'm going to use my um, clear poly bag. All right, so the first thing you do is turn your design over and you're going to just tape all around the four sides. And I actually kind of go um, in a little further just because um, with my chip bags, my printer um, won't allow me to print border, borderless. So I always have like this white um, border around it and I don't want it. So I, I cut that part off. So that's why I'm just taping in a little further. All right. So it's all tape. And then I find where I'm going to actually fold it. And I just kind of make a little crease. So I can actually find the center of my bag. So I just do that on both sides. The way I make my templates, I always have this little line right here. So it, it helps me out to actually find my folding point. And the paper I use, because um, I do have a laser printer, the paper I use is like a laser gloss paper. Um, but you can pretty much do this with any type of paper. All right, and so with my poly bag, um, the top of mine, like I, I've gotten them from different places. So with this actual bag, the top is actually pretty tall. So I should just cut that in half because I don't like that um, extra little piece up there. So it doesn't have to be perfect because no one's actually going to see it. So I'm going to try again find my center with the two little markings that I made. And then I'm going to, but before you do that, I'll also put like a little tape um, down here just so it holds the bag in place. So I'm going to align it to the top. And I'm going to, again, because I'm going to cut the bottom of my bag, of my temp, of my template a little bit, I'm actually going to fold my bag over so that I don't actually cut my bag. So I'll just hold it over. There you go. So now your bag is in place. Take it and fold your sides in. Try and get them as even as possible. So then once I have my center down, I go ahead and press down. Actually, you need to redo this side. It's not as even as I like. Okay, so now I have my center down. I'm going to go ahead and flatten the sides out. All right. 
So there we have it. And again, here's that border that I don't like, so I'm just gonna cut that off. Again, it you knows pretty much up to you. Um, some people don't mind the border. For me, I just, I like to look better without it. So there you have it, you guys. Came out pretty nice. And then your guests can open up their bag with the resealable bag inside. And then they can um, close it back up. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you on how to assemble your chip bag or whatever you want to use it for. You can stick your favors in there or, you know, um, whatever you like. But I hope... I hope this was helpful to you and uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos like this and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.